sheriff's office for uh, uh, four and a half years. I love the job. You know, this is my desk. I don't have a cubicle. You know, plus I'm I'm out here. Um, you know, I'm helping people, and uh, it's really, uh, to me, it's just an awesome job. Hey, we're going to be meeting a, a deputy that's with a confidential informant, um, and see if we can set up a uh, hot pop on a. Uh, methamphetamine uh, dealer. Let's see what we have going here. This is Deputy Todd Shanks from the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. It's uh, August 6th, Tuesday, about 10 after 7 p.m. I'm here with the CI and uh, Deputy Yohe and Deputy Haugi. We're going to have the CI place a phone call to a subject who's involved in the distribution of methamphetamine named Joe, and we're going to try to reach him on his cell phone in an attempt to uh, purchase an amount of narcotics from him. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Can you come back out? Okay. How much you got? Huh? As much as I need? Do you have, like, a ball and a half? I have 250. All right, bye. Okay. That was fine. Good job. How Hello. did he say where he was? He's at his house, which is on 33rd. It takes him about 15 minutes. Is he he's, always on time? He's always on he's time. Prompt. He is very reliable when it comes to buying. No, it's going to be a full blown takedown uh, in the safest manner we can. Basically, uh, we uh, have uh, information from a confidential informant. Um, that uh, a person is uh, bringing um, an eight ball of uh, methamphetamine. Um, so we set up a pretext call and uh, we're gonna take the person out as they uh, uh, drive in. Okay, Donnie, why don't you just follow him and see if you can turn in here. We want to make certain that's the vehicle. Okay, he's gonna turn north on right to you, Ken. He's all yours. Let's do him. I'm setting an airplane on the other team. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him pull in and we'll get him. Driver, take your seatbelt off. Keep your hands up. Driver. With your left hand, open up the door. Passenger, up. stay in. Driver, step out with your hands up. Face away from me. Step to the left. Kick the door shut. Driver, stop. What I want you to do is pull your shirt up from the top. I want you to, I want you to turn 360 degrees. Turn around. Stop. Okay, I want you to walk backwards. Stop. Go to your knees. Interlace your hand. Cross your ankles. Just go. People at the end of the complex go back to your unit right now. This is the uh, bundle of uh, methamphetamine. As they came into the uh, complex, uh, they tossed it out. And the amount that we ordered is much more than this. So, so it's probably in the car. Driver's plane right now. Okay. All right. Uh, weapons are contraband in vehicle. Yeah, I got some coffee. You do? Right. What kind of coffee do you have? I don't know. You can go look. Uh, good talk to you. Do you have some drugs in the car? What kind of drugs? So, uh, something that somebody left in my car earlier. What, what kind of drugs is it? Uh, uh, crystal. Crystal meth? That's what you call it. Probably about a ball. About, when you say ball, you mean eight about, ball? Yeah. Yes, sir. And they're in the cup in the front seat. But I was doing this as a favor for somebody. 
somebody asked me to go get it for him, okay. and, and and I agreed to go get it for him against my against my better judgment because I see that they wanted me to get in trouble by. I guess they're trying to save their ship for capsizing by adding innocent people to the fray. So you did what people refer to as middleman a deal, kind of, where somebody that approaches you about getting done. Somebody dope? asked earlier today. Okay. I was asked to do him a favor. And I did him a favor. And look what it got. So, so I want to make sure I get, there's no confusion here. Somebody asked you to do him a favor by getting him some yes. drugs. Yes. What amount of drugs? That amount I told you. An eight ball? Yes. Okay. So you went and got the eight ball, and then the plan was that once you got it, you would go give it to them? Yes. Did you pay for the eight ball, or was it fronted to I you? I paid for it. Paid 175 bucks. And you were going to give it to this other person. I was going to get it much? and recoup my money, 175 bucks. So you must be a good friend then if you're doing it for well, well. Somebody that I really know real well. Where'd you get the, the eight ball from? I, I don't want, I can't go that route right now. Maybe we can talk another time about it. But, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know the drill, dude. I, I, you, know, I, you ain't I, fell off the turnip truck. I ain't trying to be funny, but you know. Uh, we've been given uh, consent to go into the car, uh, and it says it's in the uh, center of console here. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six individually wrapped uh, uh, baggies of methamphetamine. Uh, total weight, what do you say? Eight ball? You said they're about a half gram a piece. Half gram a piece. So, how many you got? We got uh, six. About three grams, probably. So approximately three grams, pretty consistent with what we ordered. We work with uh, confidential informants all the time, and this time we started with a person possessing and led to uh, the arrest of a person distributing methamphetamine and eight ball, and he's going to jail, and he's off the streets.